I'm 64 years old. I'm just 14 years older than this frying pan. This frying pan has been in my family for 50 years and it's been used almost daily the whole time. This frying pan came into my family in 1962 when we moved into the little house Dad and Mom had built on 4th Avenue in my little town, Shoal Lake, Manitoba. With our brand new house we got all new appliances and cookware, corningware, Pyrex, and Mom's favorite, her beloved Revereware frying pan. That's the one with the copper bottom that distributed the heat better than the stainless steel which comprised the rest of the pan. The one with the sculpted lid that still fits like a glove. The one with the heat resistant plastic handle that still has the metal hanging loop. The one with the heat resistant plastic lid handle other than the heavy duty blackening on the copper. The only other bit of damage are two small chips under the handle. You can see them there. And there's a tiny little dent somewhere in the, in the lid. And I can't even see it. Other than that, the pan is like new. Now for history buffs, Revereware was a company in Clinton, Illinois that made high quality copper clad pots and pans since 1938 when the technique was invented. The company no longer exists. Food memories abound in this little frying pan, evoking the kitchen that looked out in the busy street in a small town, and the aromas that wafted out the window into the prairie air. This half-century frying pan contains some memories of innumerable eggs, poached, scrambled, sunny side, over easy, omelets, and potatoes and bacon and sausages and pancakes, reheated leftovers, grilled cheese sandwiches. Ah, the best grilled cheese sandwiches. I made another perfect grilled cheese yesterday in this pan. You know, it has to do with the copper bottom, you see? It's still working, 50 years later. This frying pan has outlived my mother and my father, and no doubt will outlive me. After that, I have no clue what will happen to the old Revereware frying pan. That decision is not mine to make. It will be made nonchalantly, quickly, one of hundreds of decisions being made about the fate of my things. Things that were once thought of as breathlessly precious, no longer mattering to me. Just one more thing that death has made irrelevant. But in this moment, the old frying pan remains handy and beloved for emergency 2 a.m. grilled cheese sandwiches.